What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the PlayStation 4, what's going on with it, and why people seem to be in a rage about it. So let's just get right to it. Recently, the CEO for Sony has announced the PlayStation 4 is at the end of its life cycle, and a lot of people don't know what that means. They're assuming by the title that it means the PlayStation 4 is dead, this year is the last year for the PlayStation 4, and that next year the PlayStation 5 is coming out. And if you read the entire article, you would know that is just not the case. So for, for a company like Sony that is releasing a big product like the PlayStation 4, it's five years old right now, and they already started seeing a decrease in profit. Last year alone, they made $6 billion profit for the PlayStation 4, and they're at the peak of profit annually for the company. Here on out, he has announced that they're going to start losing money every year. Not really losing money, but they're going to be making less profit yearly. And then that's going to make them consider releasing a PlayStation 5, which they likely already have in development. It takes years for something like that to be developed, so they already are developing it, in my opinion. But he did not say anywhere that the PlayStation 4 is dead, that the servers are going out, or that the PlayStation 5 is coming out. People just didn't read the article, and they're just assuming by the title that's what he meant, and it is not. He said by 2021, that's when he expects that they're going to start considering strongly to release the PlayStation 5 to bring their profit back up for a new system, which makes completely sense. By then, the system would be about eight years old, and that's what an average system lasts until the next one is released. And a lot of people, to me, it makes no sense why they're saying the PlayStation 4 is going to be dead when the PlayStation 3 servers are still online. They're not going to cut the PlayStation 4 servers if the PlayStation 3 servers are still online. People just don't think. They start making allegations. They start saying things that they think is true and or stuff that they want to believe is true, like the PlayStation 5 coming out, which is just not the case. I think there's still some big things going to be coming soon for the PlayStation 4, new games coming out that they've already announced. And it's just not time for a new system, in my opinion. I don't want to buy a new system every five years. And it's just not something I'd like to do. One thing that they're still gaming, gaining a little bit more profit from, and the reason he thinks it's not going to be until 2021, until a new system comes out, is because there's a lot of people and a lot of new subscriptions to PlayStation Plus that are happening right now. And a lot of reoccurring people and new people purchasing the PlayStation Plus. So it makes sense that that's kind of making up the difference from them starting to lose profit for the PlayStation 4, they're still making $6 billion profit for it every year now, but it's going to start going down and making them less and less profit moving forward. So I just want to make this video to kind of tell you guys that that's the real case. That's why that's what he meant by the end of a life cycle. And also that the original PlayStation 4 is out of production right now, but that doesn't mean all PlayStation 4s are. There's the PlayStation 4 Pro, there's the other one that's out. So, I mean, they're still going to be making the PlayStation 4 for years now. They're not going to be cutting it off anytime soon. And I just wanted to tell you guys that and give you guys more information because I see a lot of people on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and everywhere else on the internet saying that they're going to be ending the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 is coming out. And I just, I don't like people being misled. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Hope it got, hope it did help you guys understand more of the situation. Hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and it'll help me out more than you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.